Our final result is so I kind of needs to happen. But we are pretty uh, certain here that Robert has won the landslide victory.
I would like to start with a portion of a speech of this evening with uh, some quotes and quotations from individuals uh, that spoke while I was volunteering with the uh, Roberts campaign. Quiero comenzar esta noche con las presentaciones, con unas palabras, comentarios de las personas con quien hablé yo cuando estuve trabajando con la campaña de Robert Rivas. The first quote. I already voted. He's a great guy. Ya voté. Es una persona linda. You don't have to convince me, he's got my support. That was after five minutes of talking to someone on the phone. Five minutes is a long time when you're on the phone down. Una persona también dijo, la segunda persona. Él tiene mi soporte, no me tiene que convencer. A friend of mine, a teacher friend of mine said, he looks cool, I'll work for him. Una maestra con quien trabajo dijo, se mira chido, voy a votar por él. Hoy, a home, today a homeless person said, really excited about it. We were out on the street with signs, I don't know if you saw the video, and with Dominic and a group of uh, students, college students, high school students as well. We saw them all in the sky, with the letters of Roberto Rivas, with our young students, with Dominic. And a person who lives in the street said, Oh my God, I love Robert Rivas, can I kiss his sign? <laughs> And I, the quote that stuck with me the most in the, over the last few weeks, the commentario que me recuerdo más que nada que los demás, fue una persona que dijo, yo no lo conozco, pero puede ver, puedo ver en la foto que es una persona de su palabra. I don't know him, but I can tell from the picture that he's a man of his word. Thank you, everybody. My name is Maricela Cerda. I'm, today, I'm representing my teachers union in California Federation of Teachers. Buenas noches. Mi nombre es Maricela Cerda. Hoy esta noche estoy representando mi unión a la Federación de California de Educadores. Y me da mucho honor decir que Roberto Rivas es our next assembly member. Yeah. I'd like to present our next speaker, Andy Sean Coran. Uh, quiero presentar a Andy Sean Coran. Good evening on this fantastic evening. That's right. Um, I have to tell you that the candidate that we're all here for, Robert Rivas, has earned himself a powerful enemy in big oil. And I say earned. He has earned that enemy. He's been blessed by having that enemy. Because we all know, the people in this region, that if you have no enemies, you have no friends. And we're Robert's friends. Robert earned the enemy in 2014 when we launched Measure J in San Benito County. And Robert Rivas was the very first person to sign the petition to put Measure J on the ballot. taking on the oil industry, and then when the oil industry, when we passed Measure J in San Bernardino County, having been outspent 18 to 1 by the oil industry, the oil industry came in to try to intimidate this county, and Robert would have no part of it, would no, not go along with big oil. Thank you, Robert. Good job. Right. And then, Robert was there again 
lending his support. So Big Oil knows exactly what they're getting when we elect Robert Rivas in November. He's going to be one of the strongest voices in this state for the environment, for, for education, for dealing with injustices, especially environmental injustice, for looking hard at our criminal justice system, which is a misnomer to call it a criminal justice system. So in all this, I want you all to join me in a round of applause for champion for all of us, Robert Rivas. My friend Anna Barrera, who's a teacher as well. I'm a teacher. Teachers are big on Robert Rivas. And uh, Anna is a champion on dealing with immigration issues and on trying to protect our children from pesticides. Thank you, Anna.
California voters pay close attention to San Benito. Because so goes, so goes San Benito, goes the state of California. And I am absolutely proud of the initial results in my home county of having received 46% of the vote. Thank you, San Benito. So I want to thank all of you for being here this evening. You know, this campaign has always been about bringing people together and standing up for our communities. We travel to every corner of this assembly district. From Morgan Hill, to Gilroy, to Watsonville, and this yeah. Los Abisco County line. She's a so our goal in this campaign, our goal has been to give people hope. We have to give people hope that the future is bright. Our residents should be able to afford to buy a home in the community where they work. Yeah. That their kids can attend quality public schools. Yeah. That our working families can afford to pay the bills and put healthy food on the table. That our young college graduates can earn a college degree without them without leaving them with enormous debt that hampers their chance at a successful future. So there was a time in this state when we built more colleges than prisons. And we need to make sure that sending our youngest kids to quality schools is our number one priority once again. Yeah! And that's why I think it's time for us to start investing in education appropriately, to start focusing and building and expanding our universities, not expanding and building prisons. Yeah. And we need to absolutely ensure that everyone can have quality, Universal health care coverage. Yeah. 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 Because health care is a fundamental right. It shouldn't be a privilege for just a few. And I'm a Democrat. I'm a Democrat. Proud to be a Democrat. But we need to give this entire country and this state hope that the California Democratic Party is going to stand for something again. Yeah. Because as I said many times in this campaign, that as a, I'm a Democrat, because Democrats are supposed to fight and stand up for people, not corporations and corporate interests. And Democrats we need to stop being Democrats in name only. We need to practice what we preach. Please do. And we need to say, or we need to do, what we say we're going to do. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm and I'm extremely proud of this campaign that we ran. All right, Rick. Because in the end, this campaign was defined by a key issue at the end, the last few months. An issue that I lost a lot of sleep over. About the environment. Because California must lead the way in fighting the devastating effects of climate change. Yeah. Yeah. The research yeah. is absolutely clear. Scientific studies are unanimous. Our planet is warming because of carbon emissions, and the, in this warming planet that we live in is a threat to humanity itself. This is extremely serious stuff, scary stuff, and it's a local problem for us. Climate change will impact our agricultural industry, our natural environment, and our quality of life. The biggest polluter on this planet targeted my candidacy because they wanted to silence me. They wanted to intimidate me and my campaign and our community. But let me be clear, oil companies, I'm not going to back down. I absolutely won't be intimidated, and I'm going to continue to fight to ensure that our communities, our children, our families have clean air to breathe and clean water to drink. And the promise I made to my grandfather before he passed away is that I will never ever abandon my roots, which started right here in San Diego County. Yeah.
I love, I love this community. I'm going to fight for each and every one of you in Sacramento. And I will work every day to make sure that you are represented. Our county and community in this district is represented in Sacramento. Because this is just the beginning. We're going to take... Um, Uh, we're going to um, we're we're going to continue to fight in Sacramento and make sure that we live this state much better than the condition it is in. And I want to thank everyone who supported me in this campaign, everyone in this room. You know, I'm so proud to be a labor Democrat, a Democrat that comes from education, a Democrat that has served this community in so many ways as a payroll firefighter, as a county supervisor. I want to thank the teachers, the laborers, the nurses, the firefighters, school employees, everyone who came on board to help our campaign and propel us to victory. You're welcome. You're the man. So I told my story many times on this campaign trail. My grandfather said on the floor as he came here to San Diego County with absolutely nothing. But lucky for me, he moved here. My mother, her sisters, my uncle, my aunt, my great grandmother. My entire family. He moved them right here, Samuel County, Piscinus, where he found a job as an Almaden farm worker. He, he was a farm worker, and at a time when farm workers had no rights, he worked with Cesar Chavez, the Dolores Huerta, to win rights for he and his fellow co workers. Unfortunately, he couldn't, he's not here with us tonight, but I know he's looking down, and he's proud of the fact that his oldest grandson is one election away for being a member of the California State Assembly. And so from the very beginning, this campaign was never about Robert Remus. This campaign was about all of us. And I have so many people to thank uh, because our, our victory um, was not possible without all the people that volunteered their time, um, who gave me advice, who walked precincts, who made phone calls, uh, but first I have to thank my lovely wife, Kristen. Where's Kristen? Uh, Kristen, come on stage. She's a, a rock of our little family. She's an incredible partner and a fantastic mother to our two-year-old daughter, Melina, who's here somewhere. And I also have to give a special shout out to the architect of this campaign. Because I wouldn't be standing here tonight uh, without the unbelievable support from my brother, Rick Rivas. Yeah. 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 And the sacrifices that he made and put his feet before his own. You know, I don't have the words for everything he said for me and for this campaign. <laughs> Certainly there was times when, uh, you know, he challenged me, he, he always challenged me to be a better person, to be a better candidate. And he certainly challenged our campaign team who probably has done uh, so <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes. But I want to thank uh, my family, my mom, a single parent for many years, and sure my brother and I had everything. She wanted for me, but she was always, uh, you know, her her support has never uh, wavered one bit. Uh, I'm not sure where my mom is, but thank you, mom, uh, for being a school teacher for years. Go there, go. I tell the story how we lived in Palmer for housing, and it wasn't just my mom and my brother, brother. It was all of our family. This was impossible without all the people working hard behind the scenes. Dominic Durso, Chase Ryan, Dylan Lamonto, Daniel, Tony Acosta. Anyone, anyone that can do this, he's got Andy and Mary, Wayne Morton. This is my grandmother, Rosanna Flores. Juan Martínez, 
can mean something. You know, this is a region, rural California, that's been neglected for far too long. And as I say often, for every pothole I find in San Francisco, I can find 20 on my own street. And that needs to end, because we need to start working for our families and our regions here. Road congestions, housing affordability, education. We need to protect our environment and the quality of life for so many families here. So again, thank you all so much. I look thank forward you. to uh, marching on into November, to talking about issues and how we can solve problems in this region, in this state. Onward and upward, thank you so much. I look forward to representing all of us in Sacramento. Yeah!